smell? Probably. Probably have to go in there and clean. They had a big hole. Yes, there was a big hole. The, um, I think the fire department had to had to go on top of the roof and had to, to go into the make a hole into the church. But they've already boarded it up and everything looks good. We taped it off. They so taped it off. Go in there. Yes, Mr. Dr. Drew. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the youth that went in to say things? Oh, that was amazing. Last night. Yes. You know, you guys belong to a wonderful community. Your mom and your dad and your brothers, they're just the best. We have the best community here. Right on. But last night, people showed up. A lot of our youth in the high school, they came and they helped myself and Miss April and Mr. Uh, Miss Fred take all this stuff out. I mean, Mr. Fred, I'm sorry. <laughs> they helped us take everything out. Our, our, a lot of our students came. They helped drive stuff. They had, we had to take a lot of the stuff from the, the place where Father gets dressed at. You know how he puts those uh, gowns on? We had to take all of that and put it at the church and underneath the directory. So all our students and family members, I mean old ones, young ones, all of them came and they helped us. Yes, we got all the Bibles, we got all the cross, we got even the statues. We got big statues, we went in there. They went in. Sorry. We were probably using it over there at the church. <laughs> but, 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 but that means that my house we don't have water to the Yes, Yes, there were a lot of parents there. A lot of your parents were there helping us. Yes, your dad was there. Yeah, right there. You know where the church is, right? My mom and my dad were passing by the church. So we could go home, we could see where my grandma's. And then we passed by the church and we saw the smoke. The smoke came in our house. Did it? It was all over the place. Like it went everywhere. Really? Yes. Was it that the real pretty one in, by the courthouse? Yes, it was the back of that. Everybody heard about that. Yes, our community came together like like it was wonderful. It was beautiful. No, it's still standing. Yes. Um, will the community be getting together to rebuild the bathrooms? Yes, we're going to be asking for help. We'll probably have work crews to come in. The first thing we need to do is we've got to wait for the firefighters to finish. They're going to come in, and then eventually we're going to open the thing so all the, open the door so all the smoke can come out, and then we're going to need help to come in and, and wipe down the, the pews the windows to clean all in there and so we're going to need a lot of community members to help but I know that all your parents and brothers and sisters are going to help because everybody, it was wonderful what happened last night, everybody showed up and I just want to add that um, we were able, you guys remember the Eucharist? Yeah. Yeah. That's baby, Je that's Jesus right? Yeah. And you know how he lives in that little tabernacle? Yeah. yeah. We were able to take get him out of there. So we were able to bring him out and we went and put him in the church in Antonito. So that was a blessing. You know our lady of uh, our lady of Guadalupe? Yeah. Yeah. She was looking over us too because none of our firefighters got hurt. The, it didn't happen in the middle of the night because if it would happen in the middle of the night, who knows what would happen? Yeah. And in the afternoon, the late evening, evening. But everybody <coughs> did very well, right? Yes, they did. They did. No volunteers got hurt. 
the youth that helped, they could only go so far. Us as adults, we took everything out of the church and took it to the youth, and they put it in trucks, and they took it to the other church. And uh, there were a lot of our community members that showed a up. Lot. Right? A lot. Let's, let's clap for all the heroes that helped us. Thank you, Mrs. Pinoza.